now we got our man Tempo on the mic here. Yo, what's up? Joining so us for winners finals. Oh my god, dude. Yes. Luna been tearing through the brackets so far. I mean, Luna's been taking names yeah. for like the past like week, week and a half. Yeah, half. week and a half, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mentioned earlier he got the W uh, ESA yesterday or not yesterday, last week over um, Thursday, yeah. So he yeah, beat, he, he beat he beat um, T three dome. T three dome, sweet T and I'm hit twice. All right. And it took the whole thing. Yep. And then today he's beat Taternator. He beat Razo. He's beaten Nintendo. Nintendo, yep. yeah. Nintendo not ranked, but got 25th at Evo, so you know. I mean, yet again, like Nintendo is like one of those like hidden bosses of SoCal too. Sure. So, I mean, honestly, not in SoCal, but maybe to people outside of SoCal. Oh, I mean, everybody, like everyone knows everybody. Yeah. yeah. He's one of the only Duck Hunt dog mains, and so like, if you're the only one, you better be good at the character that you yeah. play. So. Here we go, uh, to game one on Stadium. Now, yet again, it seems that uh, Jump Sage has been kind of walling him out through a lot of things so far. Yeah, absolutely, and that's like how uh, Pal Jane is going to play. It's going to be pretty tricky, though, because Cloud has a much bigger discount. So if, if Luna wants to play the same game, he can definitely space out these back airs, uh, get these perfectly spaced forward airs. But up smash right there, Bad landing by, by Luna's part is gonna cost him the stock. I never know Luna's very trigger happy on that up B and you no, know, I feel like it's one of those things where like yeah, it's a really good out shield option, yeah. but I feel like people just aren't punishing it enough it, for you're what right. it is. You're absolutely right. People are just not used to punishing it, that uh, attack uh, out of shield yet. And again, I wonder if he's just gonna board it there. No, I'm not gonna pull the trigger on that, but gets mm. the read on the ledge option and manages to clean it out with a quick bear. Yet again, resending it back to neutral, only at 30%. So this is definitely a very healthy percent for Luna. Honestly, if he plays neutral a little bit more solid, no, not falling for those back airs, no, getting these combos right oh, here. Oh, what the hell, man? That was beautiful. The limit blade beam into the reverse back air and then a cross slash. Dude, that was a crazy ass combo. I mean, honestly, Luna's movement with this character is so nice. crisp. Yeah. Nice. Slice. Yet again, opting to go low on the recovery. Yet again, good on him avoiding the down tail. Like getting a cross slash on the punish for that. Yet again, he's limits on deck. Gets oh. the fair, but yet again, not enough to clean out the stock. And the ledge option, just opting to go for a grab. Go on, I'll say reset the, reset the neutral. And yet again, if I'm going to do it, just throw it out the blade beam. Yeah, the time on that is probably just going to be up yeah. in a few seconds. Yeah, absolutely. He had to go for it, but he's got jump steady back at the ledge right here. And the back air taking it. 73%. What a healthy lead right here. Have a very healthy stock, too. I mean, you see that, like, he was kind of losing it at the beginning of the match. Yes. And then he just got that one combo. And that just started opening up the can of, like, worms. For sure, yeah. His, his uh... His momentum definitely shifted in that moment. Nice. Just an aggressive uh, neutral B to kind of get back to stage. Gets the grab, and here's, he wanted it ended all right there. And yet again, right there on the, the down air back on the ledge. But now he gets back thrown off stage. Is he going to go for the nair or just down slash? Oh, oh, dude, he tech that and then cross slash. Dude, Luna's a maniac. Dude, ah. you, wait, wait. Do you think he cross slashed <laughs> on purpose? Or do you think... He teched it, trying to like tech into the stage. Dude, of course he, of course he did it on purpose, man. No, no, no but I mean, I don't, I don't know, but I'm gonna give it to him, dude. <laughs> like, dude, that was too clean to not be on purpose. That was sick. I mean, I, I figured like, oh, he's just gonna like tech in and like up B, but like because he had a DIN to yeah. get the tech, he might have just done side B instead of this, you know. I'm, a, I'm gonna give it to him, dude. I'm telling you, that was too clean. To, I'm, I'm not, I'm just gonna assume he did it on purpose. Dude. Oh my god, if he did it on purpose, like he's a god because that's just so much more damage. That's like an extra like 30 percent right there. But yet again, oh. Save this double jump, but manages to sneak by off the ledge right there. And yet again, now jump steady kind of on the ropes at 133, almost at limit. And as long as he does, doesn't get gimped, he could take off this first game. Yeah, absolutely. And we got limit online here for Luna. Gets that forward air, putting jump steady off stage. Oh, he landed on stage. Oh, no. Luna not reacting properly. He could have had the, the game right there. Yeah, just a quick, like, up B out of shield, even. Yeah. But. There we go, there's the fair, and there he goes flying, and Luna takes it game one. Yeah, I foresee a, a character Let's switch. Maybe not. If, if he goes down 2-0, he'll probably switch to ZSS, but I could see him switching to ZSS right now as well, depending on, on what he's feeling. Right. I mean, I just don't think his 
ZSS is as crisp as his. Oh, his, his ZSS is good. I mean, it's good, but it's definitely not his Palutena level. I feel like it's like if Palutena is like his hundred percent. His, 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 his ZSS like, beat Nitro today after yeah. losing with Palutena. Mm -hmm. He lost. He lost game one with Palutena, and then he two would uh, two him with, uh, with ZSS. I mean, I would say like, yeah, his his Palutena is his most practiced character, but there's definitely matchups where like jump steady. You know, if if he feels like oh, like I need to switch it up. The, the, the ZSS is like his OG, you know, right? Like from Smash Four. So. I mean, definitely if he if he goes down 2-0 and he feels like the back's against the wall and doesn't have any other options or answers to this cloud, I could see him pulling it out then. But like, even then, I would argue that just Palutena is the better choice in overall. Yeah, well, we'll have to see, man. Yeah. Right now, he's definitely sticking to his guns, going Palutena, uh, taking a lot of damage. 107, 40 only on Luna right now. Here's another up B out of shield. It comes out so fast, so it, it is tricky, dude. Like, you get hit by that first hit. Oh, my Ooh, that God. Was, I wonder what he wanted to do with that teleport, because that, that was the startup animation of it. So I wonder if he wanted to, like, try to just teleport, like, towards center stage, maybe? I don't know, but that was just unfortunate for jump study right there. And yet again, edge guard, and yet again, it's really hard for him to challenge that up B up close, unless he, like, gets that, like, up smash or that back air to just interrupt it. And that space back air is just so good. He hit. Jump steady shield, and he was immediately able to get cross slash. And I think, like more often than not, it's either gonna shield poke, or I think in that case, jump steady dropped his shield. But like, it, it'll probably shield poke after the shield damage from the back air. And again, here's the nair train gets a fair, and no one not gonna fall for any of his shenanigans off stage. But gets back aired and gets into the explosive flame. Here's the edge guard, and oh my god, he almost got hit by that smash attack right there too. Just really starting to bring this back for Jump Steady. Getting an up B out of shield right there, but trying to follow it up and not going to be able to find anything off of it. And again, just throwing out all these up Bs in neutral, just knowing that, like, hey, I know you want to float, like, up and above me. Like, I have this quick option that even if I whiff, I'll get back down to, like, the ground real Fantastic quick. Fantastic air dodge from Luna right there. Avoiding the up smash and uh, not only getting back to the ledge, but getting back to the ledge without having to expend his limit. Yet again, no, both players are just kind of struggling in that neutral. I feel like, you know, when Jump Steady is approaching and he gets his one hit in, he gets a lot of damage. But yet again, I feel like Luna's able to space out a little bit further because of that sword destroying. So it's just that difference between that, like, mid-spacing to, like, close quarters combat between the okay, two players. didn't have enough of a shield to avoid that back air, put him in the edge guard situation, neutral air going to take that KO. Jump steady up one stock right here. But not too far behind. Whoa, he just ran up an F smash. Luna, you crazy man. I mean, you know, you are in the person's mind when you just throw out F smash. You'll be like, okay, I know you're going to probably empty hop here trying to go for yeah. a, a grab or a tomahawk, but I'm just going to call you out and just S smash you as hard as I can because why not? Like, what's the worst you're going to do? Like, grab me and then I eat like maybe yeah. like an extra like 15, 20%? Yeah, really smart play by Luna for sure. I mean, he he knew, he recognized Jump Steady was just kind of like dashing back into the corner there, and he was like, "Well, I'm gonna trap you." Right. Now he's got his back against the ledge here, and yet again, all these back airs on his shield is starting to look mighty low, and just forces Jump Steady into the air, and that's when you see him rip out the up B to be like, "I'm gonna call you jumping out, and then I'm gonna hit you with this up B out of shield." One thing I would like to see Luna do a little bit more is mixing up his uh, tech options because he's kind of just teching in place a lot. And Jump Steady, it has that perfectly uh, spaced explosive flame. And there's game number two and downer spike. Luna up 2-0 right now. This is the moment. Let's see. Will Jump Steady stick to his guns? Does he think he knows what he needs to do to pull this victory back to his side? Or will he switch to the Zero Suit Samus in hopes of making something happen? I mean, yeah, it looks like go. he's, he's sticking. Go, yeah, yeah. He's gonna go I mean, yet again, his Palutena was doing extremely well. I, I just feel like the momentum could just slip so far in either player's direction, you right. know? Well, this is game three, jump steady, just one game away. Three stocks away from going to the loser's bracket and being upset by Luna here. Luna, three stocks away from having his second PR win at this tournament. dude. It's it's not even we're not even that far into this season and Luna's already making a case that hey, I need to be on this ne next ranking. I mean definitely Luna in the end of Smash War you know he was 
a, a strong player. Yeah, Not quite PR, PR level strong. He, but he was like, getting there, though. Yeah. I and now, like, I feel like beginning of Ultimate, we kind of never heard from him. And then now, like, six months later, he'd be like, you know what? I see these fools on PR. I can beat them. I know I can beat them. Let me get on this PR for the next season. And no, when you put in the time, you put in the grind, no, it really pays off. And Luna is just showing how he's doing that with a character that most people wrote off as being, like, eh, mid-tier, like, yeah. like, kind of, like, not, not good, not but yeah. like not bad. And Luna's proving him wrong. Like, no, this character is good. Let me show you why. Okay, but he's gonna get grabbed here by the ledge. Oh, whoa, whoa, dude! He challenged the up smash with an immediate downer, and he gets limit on line two. All right. No, I saw our character go flying. I'm like, I just saw Luna. I'm like, oh, there goes Luna. And then I, th I thought it was Luna. Yeah, for sure. Know. And then I saw he was still. <laughs> his downer animation was still there. And yeah. then Jump said he was in the blast zone. I was like, oh, I guess not. I mean, you know Jump Steady couldn't have expected that either. And yet again, trying going for that up smash again, but unfortunately Luna's going to shield it in time and get a nice punish off of it. And yet again, I feel like Jump Steady's kind of flustered, you know, trying to go for all these really risky options, that up smash, that rush up dash attack. You know, he's not really playing the neutral as safe as he could be. But there we go, runoff neutral air, not going to be enough to take it, but he gets limited. Yet again, that up smash will clean out the stock. And you know what, 65% definitely brought the game back a little bit, but let's see if he can really capitalize on this momentum that he just uh, brought into his favor. Absolutely. All right, two stocks apiece here for our winner's finalists. And both players are just kind of like playing around that shield in neutral, just wondering like, how am I gonna crack open this nut? Ooh, strong fair Ooh. into the back air. That was a clean combo. And yet again, here comes Limit again. Try getting another down air off of the two frame, but not going to be able to find it. But gets oh the fair. Oh, my God. Spiking him right into the blast zone. I mean, Luna. You know. Luna. Dude, Luna's just been calling out all of Jump Steady's defensive options. And no, Jump Steady is kind of bleeding from the hip right here. Is it going to be enough to bring it back at this point? Si se puede. Si se puede. Let's go. Loki, I'm like hoping that Luna wins this because I have, I have a bet with uh, Rafi. <laughs> <laughs> oh <But>. man. <laughs> Ooh, oh. okay, makes it back. Had limit online to right. get that extra vertical distance on the climb hazard. Right. And yet again, here we go. Now Luna just throwing out all these aerials, and I love that. I know not following through on the whole cross slash and gets a grab out of it because. You know, Jump City has to kind of respect oh. it, but gets hit with the explosive flame off stage, and now 39%. You know, this is definitely doable for Jump Steady, but is it going to be enough at this point? You know, gets an air, starting up a little bit of something, gets the up air, trying to catch the landing, but unfortunately he read the hard read on the forward smash and not going to be able to find it. But yet again, all these little nice little combos that Jump City has been racking up, and you know what? All of a sudden, this matchup is looking a lot more even than it did a few seconds ago. Yeah, down to the wire here for sure. Jump steady, trying to make make everything he can happen to pull himself back into this set. He's definitely taking a lot of percent right now. Cross slash is going to be a mega threat, if especially by the ledge. I mean, yet again, all he's looking for is that one opening, but not going to be able to find it there. And jump steady, can he make the most of it while he does not have limit? You know, this is the time where like. Oh, wow, I'm surprised he didn't go for a grab or an up smash off of that dash attack. But yet again, like I was saying, you know, this is when Cloud without limit that, oh, you know he wanted that down here to get the two frame, but yeah. just going to grab ledge instead. And I like what Luna's doing. He's just trying to space out all these backers, trying not to overcommit to something too critical. Mm. But yet again, there's the explosive flame, just barely avoiding it. Gets the up smash. Not going to be enough. And yet again, both players are at kill percent here. What is Jump City doing? He's just going so hard with that down smash read. Yeah, he was hoping that he would roll onto the stage. And yet again, up smash, or no, he's just gonna wait and not pull the trigger on that up air. Luna, just a few, he lets it go, recognizing Jump Steady was in the air, and he takes the victory three. Oh, over Jump Steady. I mean, that Luna was on an absolute tear, sitting in 